Trinidad and Tobago is being praised for its ability to skillfully maneuver through dynamic changes in the gas sector. It comes from a fellow members of the Gas Exporting Countries Forum, the GECF, who attended Tuesday's 20th ministerial meeting at the Hyatt Regency. More in this report. Trinidad and Tobago is the world's largest exporter of ammonia and the second largest exporter of methanol. Energy Minister Franklin Khan referenced these facts at Tuesday's GCF Gas Symposium as he said Trinidad and Tobago, albeit a small player, has managed to make a mark on the global gas market. There's no doubt that natural gas holds a significant share of the global energy mix and it will continue to do so as reserves are abundant. The minister's comments were further solidified by Secretary General of the GCF, Dr. Yuri Centurin, who commanded this country and gas contributions. Uh, by recent and significant discoveries uh, took place here in Trinidad and Tobago in the Savannah and Macadamia exploration wells, which ensure the continued success of the country's oil and gas sector, which has set um, uh, yet another example uh, though timely and adequate investments in the, in the nation's oil and gas exploration activities. The Republic of Equatorial Guinea, which has recently built its first and only LNG plant, has attributed its success in this endeavor to Trinidad and Tobago. We do believe Trinidad and Tobago still have an important role to play in the future development of the gas sector in the world and of this organization. Because we do know that Trinidad and Tobago is a very good model to follow. We did it, and we have been successful because of it. Minister Khan said adaptation has been the key to surviving the ever-advancing industry. Member countries also added modern energy policies as one of the main requirements in the sector. Janine Brown, TTT News.